My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and this is the last part of our Spring of our Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers, the complete tutorial. We've come all the way from part 1 to part 28. Thumbs up to you. You'll be a great programmer if you don't give up. So, these are actually going to be theory and exercises for you if you like to do it. But it, I recommend you try to do these exercises. It helps a lot. Now, they, I'll, I'll talk about something called the fetch types. It relates to how data is pulled from the repository, essentially the, data, the database. So we'll focus, on, we'll focus on the two fetch types called fetch type of eager and fetch type of lazy. So fetch type of eager is it tells the Hibernate to remove the related to retrieve the related record with the initial query. We are trying to assess a location. A location has several users on that location. Uh, the fetch type of eager is going to do everything at once and the advantage is that the child and the fetch operation is fast because you get all the records. But when there are so many child entities, maybe thousands or millions, then it's going to actually give an overhead that is going to affect the performance. For instance, if you are going to retrieve a, uh, all the users, when you simply want to retrieve a location, one location, and it's going to fetch all the users in that location when actually you may not need all those records at that point. In that case, you need something to manage this situation, and that is fetch type dot lazy. Now, this can be used to tell Hibernate to delay the initialization of the mapping until you are sex to children explicitly. So, those are the two fetch types you we know. So, um, so that is basically it. So, how does does it work? One add fetch type dot eager to the main to one annotation. By default, that is how it works. Then add fetch type to lazy dot lazy to the one to many annotation on all the one to many annotations. Test the application with these fetch types. Remove all the fetch type, test the application again. And what do you observe in terms of the performance? Let me know in the comment box below. Kind of try to look at the number of seconds it takes to execute. And let me know in the comment box below. I'd like to stop here, thumbs up to you, and please subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments what you need us to do next. We've come this far, and I'd like to say thank you very much for being with me, and we we'll see you in the next class.